is it, huh? Now I get to hand my daughter off to Daryl. <laughs> Congratulations, brother. She's all yours. <laughs> First and foremost, I'd like to welcome everybody today um, for Olivia and Daryl's wedding. Um, I want to welcome all that are present, most especially her parents and um, Daryl's parents. And what they're standing under is called a kupa, and she chose a triangle one. So for the Jewish tradition, they use a kupa. Is this one? Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. They use a kupa. It's like to represent the building of their new home and they're starting their new life together. So that's the reason why we have this. We have the Jewish, the Christianity here, and we have the Native American. So this is our church. Um, this is God's church. His mountains around us, all the nature. So we are in this circle of love and we're in this circle of the Native Americans welcoming us here. I also want to welcome uh, Daryl's mom. She's present here with us as well. And from what I understand, she was a very loving, giving, joyful person and who gave, um, and she was very dedicated to her faith and it shows because you see it in all of her children. And I'm honored to be here and um, represent here for you, okay? Okay, <sighs> sorry. She also had a spirit of giving and I just wanted to include her um, and his stepmom for being here as well. And I, I also want to welcome these two guys because um, I would say that growing up, it almost reminded me of that movie, Two Men and a Baby. It was like three men and a baby. And these two don't have a child. So this is their daughter almost, I feel like, and I may be wrong, but this is like their daughter. And I want to welcome them here as well. It's very special to have them here, okay? <sighs> Sorry, I don't want to cry. So I want you all to um, close your eyes right now. And I want you to welcome all of those who have passed, all of your loved ones, and also welcome in all the ancestors of our past. Ask them to be here with us in this circle so that we are all present to bless them on their new beginning. So as I arrived here, we're, we have the big Kachina um, statue and um, when I got here, I asked permission for us to do this wedding on this land for the, the ancient ones here. And I heard the Cochina woman speak to me. I've been here three times and I've never heard her speak to me, but this time she spoke to me and she had a message for these two. So here's your message. And this was on 6-4. And she said, you're here for the wedding of Olivia and Daryl. This land welcomes you. You both have good hearts for humanity and Mother Earth. We welcome you and your family. Be kind to one another and forgive each other, even when it's hard, especially when it's hard. Send your worries and pain back to me. Take the peace from this land with you wherever you go. And remember the Red Rock is a part of you now. So go in peace and share your life with the world. So that was her message to you. So <laughs> Teresa, we welcome you then. <laughs> You're gonna read your reading for her. So we were gonna have Daryl and his dad be the witness. So at this point, we were gonna have both of you sign the wedding um, marriage, license. marriage license so that we can start the ceremony. And this is how they wanted to do it a little different. And the next one we we're going to start is we're going to have Teresa read um, a favorite psalm of Daryl's mom. Though I walk through the valley of the shadows of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Psalm 23. Thank you. 
And now Olivia and Daryl will read their vows. Here's your vows. Okay. And you may face each other. Do you want to go first? Yeah, sure. I tried doing mine on paper. My handwriting was horrible, so I'm going to use my phone. Olivia, the moment you walked into my life, everything became brighter. And today I'm making the commitment to become one with you. I vow to love your family as my own, your friends as my own, and all your passions as my own. I vow to lead decades full of adventure and to always enjoy the spice of life with you. I, ve I vow to be the lover you need to remind you of your worth and the calm voice to bring you back to earth. I vow to guide you where I can and know when to learn, to be humble in my mistakes and be patient when it's your turn. I vow to be faithful and loyal while making you feel free, to be a lover of who you are and all you desire to be. I vow to be present with you when you need connection and a container for you when you crave expression. I'll be the space for you to be your wild self into our elder years, sharing the best health. I vow to always treat you with love and respect, to hold and protect, and to be the one that makes you feel safe and heard in all the ways that you deserve. <laughs> I'll be patient and kind, and I'll always be there to scratch your itch even in times when you can be a little bit unreasonable. <laughs> <laughs> I vow to share accountability in the standards in which we strive and to be all that we can be that makes us feel alive. I vow to raise a family that I'd give my life for and to forget all else that doesn't bring us more. I vow to be a husband, best friend and partner of best I vow to be everything in a man that you wish to manifest. I vow to show, show endless love to the women of my dreams, the apple of my eye, to show endless devotion to the divine beauty standing before me that I can call my own. Uh, that's a lot better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, mine... I feel like reflects the essence of our relationship. Yours is more artistic and poetic, but <laughs> um, mine's just straight to the point. I've always said that I wanted to end up with someone that I can fart in front of. <laughs> Sounds weird, but this is what it means to me. It's a literal release of judgment, insecurities, and pent up perfection. And furthermore, true love to me means getting past all of that, plus all of the stinkiness that lingers afterward. <laughs> Fortunately, on that day of the Tantra workshop, we had some pork crackling and could not hold it in during the eye gazing exercise. Did I know you farted? No. <laughs> but I saw a release in your face, which... <laughs> Which told me, you can be yourself, and I am here for you. From there, our relationship very quickly flourished into many fart, butt, and poop jokes. And little did I know, it would exceed what I knew to be possible in a successful relationship. I gained a best friend, caretaker, and a constant window of understanding of universal love. With you, there is no limit to reaching new heights both individually and as a couple. Our relationship has made life infinitely meaningful. As long as I'm with you, there is no need to keep seeking or trying, but to finally just allow. Like I said in the beginning of our relationship, I'm your ride or die. This lifetime is for us to experience together. You guys are too cute. <laughs> too cute. Okay. 
One thing we're going to do right now is a little shamanic um, um, exercise for them. And it's kind of a blessing. And we use this sacred cloth, which belonged to some shamans in Peru. So it's a sacred cloth. And we're going to bind them together. First time doing this, so you guys be patient with me. Are you guys ready? And I have short arms. Thank you, Mom. And then hand me the string and bring it around. There's the string. Will you hand me the string? Is that okay? Is that not too tight? And what we're going to do is we're going to give them the bands of protection to protect them in this new world they're living in, take care of each other. Okay. These stones are also called kuyas, and so they've been energized to bless them. And we're going to start with their, their chakra system and their first and ch second chakra, which grounds them to the earth so they stay strong connected to mother earth and these two have been on many adventures like they said they love traveling they went to Tulum and experienced a lot of cool things there and Bali the color of this band is black so they're kind of invisible invisible bands and we feed them this next one is their belly stomach chakra and the color is red you imagine a red band around them this is water of earth and now we have the water and the oceans the next one is the heart chakra and the color is golden like the sun as we wrap these stones band around them and their heart chakra. The next one is around their neck, which represents wind. I'll be speaking their truth as well. This one is the fire chakra. So they get the fire from God's spirit from up above. You open up this chakra for them to be able to have their connection to God the Father. So they ground themselves with the earth when they have their issues or problems and they go to God's spirit when they need help. As you well know, they're both travelers and they're very much connected to the earth and her Native American um, background. So if all of you can just use your hands and just put them up and bless them, we'll say a little prayer. <sighs> Father God, bless this couple. Give them the strength they need to make this marriage last a lifetime, and then some. Thank you for bringing them together. Thank you for what they're gonna do in this world to bring peace into the worst world as well. Amen, aho. Will you help me take that? Oops. <clears throat> there should be seven is there here's one more so it's kind of like bands of protection they're invisible so say you know for me when you're in an airport and there's a lot of people and you need protection you just kind of imagine you're expanding it like a rubber band 
so you expand those bands of protection wherever you need it. So my blessings to you. into the I do's. So are you ready? Can you hold your each other's hands? Here we go. <sighs> do you, Daryl, take Olivia to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. Do you, Olivia, take Daryl to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. The rings? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Come on. Here you go. You may put her ring on her finger. The string symbolizing not only their love for one in another, but also the circle of the ring. Their love goes on and on forever and ever to infinity. Okay, by the power invested in me, by the Universal Life Church, and by the state of Arizona, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> okay, now, the last part, I'm gonna explain the, um, the breaking. I've never done this, so maybe you can help me, Father. Eric, okay. and the symbolized, there was a lot of symbols this I looked it up, but um, oh, I need uh, you. See that stone right there mm -hmm. under his chair? I need you to bring it and put it right in front of him. Please. Stone. So it'll break easier. Oh, okay. So it's kind of Hold on. And at the end, everybody is going to say muscle tough. Right? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's oh, Masa. You say Leheim? No, 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 no. Not Masa Tov. It was Masa Tov. Okay, okay. I didn't want to make it. Um, and one of the traditions of this, when I was looking it up, is these rabbis many, many, many years ago, thousands of years ago, he had a big wedding feast for his son. And um, he walked in the room and he saw that everybody was, you know, inebriated and happy and what have you. And so what he did is he grabbed a very, very expensive glass and he stomped on it and broke it in it. What everybody went, oh, how could he do that? Waste that money, you know? And it was his example of saying, and everybody sobered up. And it was ex his example of saying, life is fragile. Yes, we're happy and we're joyful right now, but it's also fragile. And so this is one of the traditions why they did it. There's many more traditions, but this one is one of them that I read. And um, human, yes, your human relationships are fragile. So even the strongest of people, you know, end up subject to disintegration of their, their marriage and their relationship. So as this gladder, glass shatters, I want you guys to say, so may our marriage never break. So, so as this glass shatters, May our our may our marriage may our marriage never never break. And both of you could do it, or you could do it by yourself. Okay, there you go, Masota. All righty, wonderful. Let you to Mr. and Mrs. Young.